Okay then, we're back with an electoral ramble. It's probably officially our first day returning for mm. academic year 2019-2020. Yes. And we're going to cover in this video. We're going to talk about where we are now. We're going to talk about what we've got coming up in the future. Yeah. And perhaps a little bit of a reflection on the past 12 months. So. Yeah, so this is going to encompass all the things that are really going to happen to us in the yep. next 12 months. Yep. We've had an amazing 12 months looking in hindsight, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. All the, all the things that we've done, all the people that we've met out there. And part of this ramble will be another way of how we can meet more people, won't yes, it, as well as absolutely. we go through. Yeah. So let's start with the uh, perhaps the elephant in the room. You're wearing an eFix t-shirt and I am, so have you got something to tell me? Yeah, well, uh, I'm involved with this business, Gaz, <laughs> that you might be interested in. I'll see if I can get you in on the ground floor with it. Yeah. <laughs> so the big news is that me and Gary are going part-time. So this is quite a big change for us, isn't it? So we're both going down to three days a week at the college, which will be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah. So we're still going to be teaching for the yes. foreseeable future. And for the other two days a week, Gaz, what are we up to? Well, well <laughs> I can't believe we've drawn cram them into two days. So the other two days, we're going to be concentrating on the, the thing we've really been spending yeah. our spare time in. We're going to be concentrating on the e-fix. Yeah. And that's a number of things that we're actually going to be focusing on in the short term, aren't we? Yeah. So, uh, first and foremost, let's 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 get it out there nice and early. The, there will be a tab, won't there, on the website? Yes, yes you may have seen it pop up already, but it's not gone live yet. It's counting down the Apprentice Hub. So, what's that all about? It's about a lot of work at the minute. <laughs> um, what we're trying to do is, as we said when we first set out on the eFix journey, is we're going to try and encompass every element of the electrical yep. industry from the apprentice, and we don't call it legend now, perhaps industry insight, mm. isn't it? And yep. everything in between. We've been on construction sites recently and all yep. sorts of stuff. Been to factory tours, etc. So we're obviously going to come back to our home, mm -hmm. our home being teaching yep. those you know, apprentices that are, or young people trying to get into the electrical industry not always in the apprenticeship position. So we've got a tab there that's going to take time. I said, that again, it's going to take time to develop. It won't um, be fully loaded when we get it on there, but what have we put on there so far? We've already got some great content. So we've got some educational videos covering specific areas, and there'll also be some sort of worksheets and handouts and information that go in those areas as well. And we're also working on producing lots and lots of practice questions for exams. Uh, so we're very, very keen to help people uh, learn, first and foremost, yes. which is the purpose of the sort of educational videos and articles and things like that. But we also know that come exam time, the pressure builds for our learners and for all learners. They want to give it the best shot. They want to give themselves the best chance. And so we've got some practice exam questions for them. So they're not the questions that you will get in the exams. Uh, but they will give you a good idea of what to expect. Yeah, we understand after being in education between us, what, we're approaching 30 years between us. I'm, yeah. I'm over 18, you're over 12, mm. that we've got a feeling of what a style of question would be. Yeah. And obviously we've tried to develop some questions to help you at the end, but we're not looking at you using that as your first port of call. No. Have a go at a section of questions. If you could pass that section of questions, yeah. oh, you'd feel confident to do an exam. Yeah. We're all about the, the learning journey. So, so that will go in there. There's also going to be some PDF files on there or something of yeah. that style, isn't there, for yeah. notes and things like that. And we're also targeting specific subjects as well with multiple choice questions. Yeah. So it's not just about cramming for exams. It's about checking your own knowledge and your own learning and developing those specific areas that you want to understand more clearly. So there will be areas that are more targeted on specific subjects, let's say, uh, the nature of electricity, yep. electron theory, yes. things like that. So as well as general questions that you can expect in your exams, there's very targeted ones for specific subjects to improve your knowledge in that area. So if your lecturer, your teacher says to you, uh, you don't know enough about resistors in series and parallel, yeah. well, there'll be a section that says resistors in series and parallel that you can specifically brush up on. Uh, but it's a work in progress. Yeah, so um, we've run away with it. We've, we've loaded some on, they're ready to go, etc. That links in nicely to what we're going to be doing for us. I think that's next week, depending on when you're watching the video. It will yep. be the next thing that we do really for eFix. And yep. um, we're going to a college. Mm. How, how, what made us choose this college, Joe? Uh, we're going to see Ian Clark, uh, who's a lovely chap that we've met uh, at North CF Live, yeah, I did, think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lovely chap, uh, and he's. Uh, been following our videos for quite some time, using our videos uh, and helping uh, his learners to access them as well yeah. uh, to benefit them. And he's very, very passionate about education within the electrical industry. He really, really wants to make sure that he 
uh, gives his learners the best experience yeah. and that they learn a lot and uh, we're very proud to be able to go up and visit him and his learners up at his college in Northwest Lindsay have I got that right? I think that's the one yeah. yes we better check that before we put it in the sat nav <laughs> But what happened there was actually his learners nominated him, didn't mm. they? Um, slightly different to the way that we're going to do it moving forward. Um, they nominated him. They sent us a video, didn't they, asking um, that, you know to come and see them yeah. and nominated him in the college. Moving forward, um, through all the social media outlets, through our Facebook page, yep. through our website, through Instagram, through Twitter, okay, and we're also on LinkedIn. You can nominate either your college lecturer mm -hmm. or your college facility or something that you're doing that you thinks fantastic. You might be hosting one of your own apprentice competitions. Yep. We did one of those in Manchester. Yep. If you nominate your college, uh, you could be the next college that we come and see. We're going to try and see one every term. Is that true, Joe? Yes, that's correct. So we'll, we'll hopefully be out there quite a bit uh, coming to visit people and hopefully as well being able to bring some actual physical stuff for the colleges to benefit from. So uh, we're hoping to be able to bring a bit of a goodie box. Can't make any promises at this moment. It's no. still something that we're working on putting together, uh, but we definitely want to rock up with some helpful, useful things uh, for colleges and their learners. But rocking up, being the word, we'll be rocking up in the brand studios. In the big red van. So, yeah, <laughs> call it a big, don't call it a van. Uh, so if nothing else, you'll get a chance to do the apprentice hall. Yeah. So we'll, we'll actually be able to set it up. We'll be able to, to, to have some yeah. learners side by side, have a bit of fun and a yeah, bit of banter. Absolutely. Might even get the chairs out. Won't we? Yeah, yeah. do a bit of commentary maybe. Yeah, yeah that could be fun. Uh, perhaps it could be lecturer versus lecturer. That's always good, isn't it? That would be yeah, interesting. So the yeah. guy who's always in a workshop against the guy who's always doing science and principles. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Why, why did you choose those well, two I don't know. Things? I don't, that's interesting. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it'll be a future video, I'm sure. So th that's that's one of the first things. The countdown clock's going, depends on when you're watching the video. Nip over to efix.co.uk and check out our latest content on there and just look at the uh, hamburger. Is that what you call it in the corner? Uh, absolutely, now? if you're on your mobile, yeah. yeah. You're looking for the Apprentice Hub tab. That's what you're wanting to be clicking on. And over hopefully the next 12 months, 12 to 18 months, we'll develop that further as we go, yep. but nominate your college and see us in the flesh sooner rather than later. But of course, Gary, the apprenticeship side of things, the educational side of things is just one of the things that we're looking at at the minute. Absolutely. So what else is happening with eFix? We've gone live. eFix live uh, events are happening now, coming to a town near you. How would I go about attending an eFix live event? Example being, I think October half term, I'm in Scotland. So. <laughs> I believe you are. Yeah, one of us is on holiday. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Um, so all you've got to do is go to efix.co.uk uh, and just click on uh, the relevant article that speaks about uh, tours and events yes. uh, and you'll be able to register your interest there. And it's all set up with uh, information about what you can expect to see on the day, uh, order of events, the kind of sequence of things that are going on. Uh, the different chats and uh, stands that will be there yeah. uh, and what you can you can look forward to so we've got a lot going on at these events and I think they're going to be really really interesting for anyone who's connected to the electrical industry in any way yeah so we yeah so the apprentices we've moved and now we're fully in, integrated within the electrical industry looking at perhaps some smart technology mm -hmm. perhaps EV charging yep. we'll have guest speakers yep. um, I know and you'd have to look it up in America there's a thing called TED mm -hmm. or TED speakers yeah so people like to put on their CV that they've turned up at an event and done a live chat is that yeah. true <laughs> yeah, have I got that right <laughs> yeah. yeah you're looking at me like I have no idea what a TED is no, so, okay. it's, good. it's all good it's not just about what eFix have to mm. say, it's about what the industry has to say. Yeah, really we're hosting the event, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. And, and everything else is promoted from within the industry. Uh, so it'll be a really, really interesting night. Um, and also, uh, like a bit of fun as yeah. well, yeah. we're hoping. It yeah. won't just be dry lectures, it'll be uh, something that's a little bit engaging, a little bit interesting, a bit of fun. So we strongly recommend that you, you check out the uh, list of events, see which one's closest to you, and get registered as soon as possible. And um, how much does it cost you when you register? 100% free. Oh, right, okay. And will I get fed when I arrive? You will get fed. There will be, uh, I believe, uh, some kind of uh, food laid on for us. I think it might vary from position to position. There has been talk of a hog roast, I believe. Is that right? Uh, the first one, yeah. First and one. I think there'll be some liquid refreshment as well during the evening. Nice. So, yeah. So, look out for them. So, we're coming to you in the van if you're an apprentice. Yep. We're coming to you if you're an electrician to your local town yep. with an eFix live event free to register, go and look for the events uh, tab on the website and therefore register your interest and look yep. where we're going to be next. Scotland in October for me. So we've got only two days in a week, Joe. We're going to be pretty busy. Yes. Does that mean Joe Robinson training is going to end? No more science and principles videos? No, absolutely not. I'm still very keen to continue producing that content. Um, 
it's going to again be <laughs> there's, there's only so many hours in a day but uh, no I'm still very passionate about trying to help people understand this often overlooked area of the uh, of the sort of curriculum within electrical installation uh, and just helping people to understand that a little bit better and hopefully understand a little bit more why we do the things we do when we're on site those sites and principles underpin every bit of our work that we do on on site so we definitely want to keep that buzzing away and it, we, we, we left it where it was because we could have put it on GSH, okay, mm -hmm. our other channel, so we could have put it on there and had a Science and Principles tab, yeah. but we've left it as Joe Robinson Training, Standing Alone Science and Principles. So, uh, you know, those people that are following GSH, and there are many people following them, have a little look over there because it's, mm -hmm. the, it's overlooked, isn't it? The Electrical Science yeah. and Principles. And if you're going to find possibly something a little bit more sticky as you mm -hmm. go through your apprenticeship or yeah. your full-time course, it's generally the Science and Principles stuff. Yeah, and part of the reason we kept it there as well was to sort of compartmentalise it a little bit as well because obviously it's it's a vast area yeah. and you might have ended up being overwhelmed with the you know trying to find a specific video on a different uh, on uh, channel so we kept it all on one channel uh, so that it's very easily accessible really and then we've got playlists that cover specific subject areas which hopefully will help to uh, improve your understanding so yeah go and go and have a look and uh, if it's helpful then uh, you're very welcome you know still love producing those that's good and along with the eFix hub yep. okay for apprentices and GSH electrical and Joe Robinson training yep. we've pretty much covered that apprenticeship yep. stroke full-time learner in the electrical industry element totally. which is really good so anything else we need to update them on during this ramble Joe or we're we pretty much there now so I think that's about it that's all the major exciting stuff coming up so we've got lots and lots happening uh, please engage with us please uh, contact us uh, and get over to efix.co.uk and uh, just have a have a look around see if there's any articles on there that interest you uh, and that uh, might help you out with your installation work. And we hope to see the people, whether we're at a college or mm. whether we're at a live event for eFix in the coming weeks. Yeah, exciting times. Shall we end it? Let's do it. We, we hope, hope this video has been some help.